Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So, it's that time again. One of my favorite times. Time to take up another champion. And this one, I think it's going to catch a lot of you by surprise. But if you think you can guess who I'm about to take up, feel free to leave it in the comments below. I'm very curious to see if anybody guesses uh, who I'm about to take up. But I'm about to reveal it in five, four, three, two, one. Spider Ham, Spider Ham, does whatever a spider can. How many of you guys saw that one coming? Bet not too many. So, one of the reasons that I decided to take up Spider Ham is because I found myself using him a lot more. And if you guys remember when we were live yesterday, I said I didn't want to do the Cavalier uh, exploration because it might spoil the video. Well, this is what I was talking about because in the science uh, chapter, I will most likely be using Spider Ham along with, you know, uh, She Hulk and um, Mr. Fantastic for that power sting synergy. But I find myself using him and I would have to bring in my five star Spider Ham because I didn't have a six star one ranked up and awakened. Well, now I don't have to worry about that. So uh, you'll expect to see Spider Ham. Uh, more in the future. Now, Spider Ham is fun. He's a lot of fun. He's also very annoying as a defender. Let me tell you, um, he—if you have the right counter, of course—he's uh, not a problem. But he can surprise you with some burst damage, and so um, I definitely, definitely like him and I have liked him for a while took up the five star when I got the six star I was like yes but I didn't want to take him up even though I don't think he technically needs to be awakened okay I don't really think he needs to be awakened um, but his awakened ability is beneficial and boom he is now my newest rank three I'm actually kind of excited about this one because uh, this one, this one is going to be fun. Now you saw that I used gems on him and I have a few more gems, uh, to use rank up gems. And I got those from completing act seven, but we will continue exploring and it shouldn't take me more than a week at the pace that I'm usually going. I might decide to ramp up the pace, but I don't really have a reason. Uh, and that's why I'm also so excited because in Act 7, there was a boss, I think it was Purgatory, who is really easy with Spider-Ham. So when I first went in there and did it, I only had the five star uh, ranked up, maxed out. And he did okay, but, you know, I, I was trying to get used to the fight and everything. But now, I'm going to go in there for a rematch, and I'm bringing in my 6-star rank 3 Spider-Ham. Absolutely. All right. So, uh, what you see in here, of course, I'm trying to be efficient, even though I have tons of gold. Uh, I'm trying to be efficient and use you know the same class iso but if i can't i can't uh i have plenty of premium hero crystals but when i was doing uh this rank up here i didn't want to wait i said you know what i'll open up a few uh crystals here and if i don't get the right class iso so be it i will just use non-class ISO. I got plenty of ISO. Uh, even if I needed to, I have tons and tons of Grandmaster Crystals that I can open up for ISO. Um, it's just really tedious. So, 
uh, didn't didn't feel like doing that. All right, so where are we at right now? Yep, there we go. So we're gonna continue uh, ranking him up. Got a few more um, levels to to uh, put on him. Uh, looks like I did get eh, a little bit of uh, science, but like I said, I, I was not gonna. Uh, spend too much more time opening crystals, hoping for the right class uh, to do. So you see here, I'm just doing it. Now, I don't want to use those uh, mutants just because they're so big, you know? And I'm like, I'm going to need those. Let's, let's just save them uh, for right now. And I don't recommend anybody do this unless you have lots and lots of gold. But you see, I'm going to be using these gray, the gray ISO. I always sell these except in cases like this. Otherwise, selling them is the best thing to do if you need gold. All right. I don't need gold, but I still like to uh, sell those instead. All right. And for the final trick, you thought we were done. Boom, I awakened him. So even though he doesn't need it, it's very beneficial and you can see what it does there. All right, let's head to Realm of Legends. Let's take a look at the synergies first before we go in there. All right, so I threw in this synergy here. Uh, Spider Nonsense resets to plus three more than it would normally. And I also have this synergy Porker Popper duration is increased by 20%. Very useful. Now, the other synergy, the one that I am most excited about and the one that I know I'm going to be using more than any other synergy is Mr. Fantastic and She-Hulk. And if you look here, uh, not that one, this one here, um, champions, if, if you're tech or science, your debuffs also apply an indefinite power sting that does damage. So remember, he already does power stings by himself. And this is going to add an indefinite one, meaning you don't have to worry about it falling off. As soon as they run their special, it's going to hurt. Let's see what that looks like. I tell you, he is, he is a lot of fun. He really is. All right, let's have a little fun with it. Come on. Do that indefinite, because I did a debuff, which is just from a parry. It only stacks three times. All right, fire off that special to lock him in. Whoa, look at that. And evaded a bunch. Mm. And he still's got uh, those poppers on him. They re-triggered. Hit him with another one. Lock him in. Look at that. And you'll notice the taunt. Devastating. Just look at the damage. He's doing to himself. A lot of fun, man. So I run suicides and um, he's not really suicide friendly, but I don't really care. Look at this. Look at this. Man. Woo. Okay, yep, yep, there we go. We got three again. Hmm. See all that damage them poppers do? Let's hit him with a special two. Woo! Woo! He almost killed himself with that one. Come on. Come on. And he's dead. He is a lot of fun. He's not really suicide friendly, but really don't care he is a lot of fun to use and i'm looking forward to using him uh in act seven 
as well as the Cavalier difficulty of the monthly event quest. But that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button. If you enjoyed it, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this rank up. You know, uh, did you think it was a good rank up? Spider-Ham, don't be surprised if you see him as a rank four sometime in the future. Because, yeah, he's that fun. Anyway, take care, and you all have a blessed day.